guys, so I spent most of the summer building this fence you see behind me. Um, it actually stretches around our entire property and driveway. Um, and I've had a lot of people ask me questions about it, so I figured I'd walk through some of the steps that I took to uh, build it. So as you can see, I went with the horizontal design. Um, actually a lot easier to put up that way I found when you're doing it by yourself. Um, I use four by fours and since part of it is actually going along an asphalt driveway, I purchased special asphalt anchors. Um, I'll put the link to the company I use so that when I drilled into the ground, they would actually stay. Asphalt is actually a soft material, so you don't want to just put something um, use regular concrete anchors in them. So I did have to use asphalt anchors. I then just for added stability, um, connected fence post brackets um, to the anchors and then sunk those into concrete. So um, this will be the final look of all of the bases. I really wanted to be kind of clean and cute. Um, but as I was going just for experience of time, I just did a quick concrete um, circle, I guess, around each of the post space. You can kind of see the top of them. So I'll come through and kind of touch up where needed. This was a, honestly a figure it out as I go kind of project. I've never done anything this big. So um, there are definitely some learning moments. Uh, since my posts are about eight feet apart, um, and I'll explain why a little bit later. I did come back and add this stringer board all the way down the middle um, just to keep the boards from warping. Uh, when you have to stretch that big of a distance, you can um, run to issues with integrity based on the fact that you're only connecting to the very edges of the board. And wood is flexible. It moves and breathes with um, time, water, moisture, lack of moisture. So um, this would will keep the look clean, keep everything kind of straight as it's supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna take you over to the other side where I did something really interesting. So this side of the fence was actually what inspired me when we first moved into the house. The entire, um, it was a chain link that had completely like, degraded, it was halfway on the ground. Uh, so I wanted a way to uh, salvage the existing posts that were in the ground so I didn't have to re-dig um, tons of post holes by myself. Uh, so I found a few videos on how to connect a privacy fence to a chain link fence. And the method I chose to use was um, taking the existing post, drilling through um, it with a metal bit, adding a carriage bolt to bolt the four by four, as you can see, to the um, fence post, you know, closing it up with a lug nut. And um, yeah, that, that, keeping it all level, keeping it all secure, once you added the fence post, it really was, I mean, it's, it's on there, it's solid. So that saved me a lot of time and energy. Um, and this entire length and the back fence is actually connected to the the old chain link post so if you have a chain link fence and you want a privacy this is one way to connect um my plan will be to add caps wherever there were some missing like on this one and spray paint these black just for you know to make it look better but it worked and i'm very pleased with the results screws rather than nails to keep put the um Fence boards up. I think screws are way more secure. They are, I don't think it is. Screws are way more secure. Um, they'll keep the boards from warping as well. I use exterior deck screws. Um, I think about maybe two inches uh, throughout. And one way that I was able to put these up by myself without needing an extra hand was um, using a method where I use a spacer board to kind of hold the boards in place um, at the base, and then it's just stacking as you go up. So um, it's not complicated at all, and it's really helpful when you don't 
don't have an extra set of hands. Um, so finally I have a um, cover piece to cover the raw edges of the board. I just didn't like the look of these being out. Also some ends are not the same as others since I did have to modify all of the fence pickets to fit the sizes of my fence. Um, approximately eight feet apart, but there's still quite a bit of um, differentiation between the existing coast over there and also the ones that I put out here based on poor measurement. I don't know. So yeah, that's um, just a quick view and a looky-loo at my fence. Um, and I don't know, I might add shelves to it. Um, I've been in a house with the fence with shelves and it was really nice in the long run but um, I just wanted to give a quick overview of how things are going where I'm at all right